What did you think of uh, Chappelle's two specials? I thought it was really interesting to see him do this big polished special yeah. in a big place and then do the little special in the belly room. I was like, well, this is this the belly room felt weird, man. Well, I mean, I personally, my take on it is like the second one, the belly room one, we're un, we're in the practice of calling that a special, but it's really not a special in my opinion. What you're seeing is what here, at least in, definitely in Los Angeles, and if you live in San Francisco, Denver, New York, places he likes to frequent, uh, what is what you see Dave Chappelle known for in these cities, which is he would drop into clubs and like spill out everything that's on his mind. So, I mean, I don't know if it's more like semantics, but it's like, it's not a special. To me, it's like you're seeing one of the best guys ever do a workout set like do a a loose riff it's only been six seven weeks since the special was shot that is that plays before it right when which he toured for like a year with that you can see how like polished and you know what i mean so i think it's really cool if you're a big stand-up nerd to see the other one like that's what happens a lot in those cities that he he'll just fly into and be like yeah here's shit that's on my mind Right and and that is, so you're seeing like it's 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 masterful, but I think it's like I don't call I, I think of it as separate than a special, you mm. know, like because a, a, a special to me is like <coughs> you tour, you prepare, and then like you present it. Right. I mean, I know I understand that you could be like, well, yeah, it's a separate thing, it's a special, but I'm saying that within that, there's something really specific going on, which is like. This is like in the moment, uh, almost all topical commentary, and like that's how that dude works. He, he just he will walk into a club and be like, I wanted to get on stage, and like just talk about. He's he always he loves topical stuff, so it fits perfectly. But it was it's very different. It's I mean you can see the the total different the contrast, especially if you watch one after the other. Yeah, you know you're watching toured proven like worked out stuff and like here's some shit i thought of basically in, in the last week right 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 but a whole hour of it which is really crazy yeah he's so prolific <clears throat> yeah and um the, the the fact the way it worked was doing the two of them together that way mm -hmm. you got to see the big polish special yeah. and then you got to see the fuck around workout set so it's like if you watch the big polish special you're like i need more yeah it's really want. interesting to see, uh, I think, just to hear people go uh, back and forth on which they liked more. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really interesting. I've seen a bunch of people, at least online, all say they like the belly room, you know? Well, the belly room was so intimate to, yeah. to be in that room. I was there for one of those shows. It's so uh, interesting to be there when you're watching someone film in front of 70 people. Yeah. It's so tight and small, you yeah. know? You're kind of naked a little bit, you know? It's yeah. Like, and the people in the audience were, they were fucking on the show. Yeah. I mean, the people that got those front row seats, they yeah. were they were featured prominently in that Netflix oh, special. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of makes you entertain the idea of like a really small special, what that would be like. Yeah, there's, there's different kinds of comedy, right? It's like the comedy that you do for 70 people is just not exactly the same as the comedy that it's you not. do for 700 or 7,000. And the way you present it. <coughs> I mean, he was he basically sat for most of that yeah so that's that's different you know i mean usually if you're in a big 2500 seater you're not gonna like chill sit on a bench unless you're mark maron mark i think yeah. mark maron or cosby cool. old school cosby yeah yeah he was always sitting um even as he got old yeah I mean, cosby did it not just old school cosby but old old Cosby. yeah old old cosby you're right do you um, think cosby will tour again no no i think that's done it's over yeah yeah i think so well, I remember when he was touring. There's still, a lot of promoters. Lot of allegations. Would not, I think, would <coughs> think it's not worth the trouble. Really? I think so. Yeah. I think Louis will tour again. You think so? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, I think he'll take like a year off. Yeah. And then he'll do some shows and people get mad. And then it'd be, yeah. And then, like, if, you know, the real thing is like the corporate side of it. Like, in other words, uh, channel or network that would want to let's say host show the special but he has such a dedicated no one's website following is like what he ended up developing like he's sold 
shows and and made millions you know when people were doing the like download my special thing mm -hmm. i think he could book a venue shoot something and go back to his five dollar model and, and do really well I no i'm sure he could and people would be really interested to see it of course but i think netflix would have him on they still have his old stuff i watched Maybe. his old stuff yeah i mean i yeah i was on a flight after right after all of it went down I watched is uh, the special from DC, which I thought was really interesting to watch it, knowing the DC one was that is that the latest the latest one, one oh, okay, 2017. Uh -huh. But just to know that it was like right around the corner that he was going to get busted, yeah, yeah, beaten off in front of people. It's just it's a weird thing to get caught doing too. Yeah, it's like out of all the things that people have done that they got caught doing, all the rape accusations and all the horrible shit. Like his is the most pathetic. And also kind of the most innocuous. Yeah. It's just humiliating. Just beating off in front of people. I know. It's like his kink. It's what yeah. he likes. But it could be way worse. You know, like what, what he actually did. I'm yeah. not saying it's a good thing to do to people. No, it's Hey, not. watch me beat off. Yeah. But yeah, I it's... know a bunch of people he did it to apparently laughed. There's yeah. quite a few comics that I've talked to that know people that he did it to. Yeah, I knew somebody they did it to. Yeah. And yeah. what'd she think? Not happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, you know, I don't know, man. It was like, it's I, weird. I knew it for a long time, that story. Yeah. And I, I mean, I said it before. I was like, well, I mean, I knew it. And then like every other person I talked to in comedy knew it. And we, we were all like, that's fucked up. But it also, I mean, this doesn't excuse it at all either. But there is something about something at least that as you know that something somebody did a while ago yeah so it's like what am i supposed to do? bring this shit up to him right you know like how do you know but it, but the other thing is how do you even know that they did it because one of the things that happened during the whole like did, did he do it or did he not do it thing before it came out was uh someone had told me that it was bullshit and that what he had done is take some pictures with female comedians mm -hmm. with his dick out just being silly and stupid and like and and then tell him please delete those pictures we're just having fun you know oh. i don't, don't want to get in trouble i mean the story i heard was very specific yeah and, and like you know it's basically one of the stories reported in, mm -hmm. the, in the times and i was like i remember hearing that story and, and the person was not you know was pretty upset about it and and then a lot of people heard the story yeah and then i don't know you know another year would go by and two years and three years and you're like okay i mean that's bad but like as far as my role in it you know like as somebody right. who knows the story now it was just one of those things where you'd be like yeah it's a fucked up story you know <laughs> i mean it's not someone that like hey you know that guy he fucking punched someone 15 years ago right. he's a real asshole and you're like that sucks you know but 15 years ago is a long time right i mean kind of it's like is there is there it's not to like minimize the wrongdoing but like isn't there some part of the conversation about how people mature and and, mm -hmm. and become different people as they get older not i'm sure, sure a lot of people that are in their 50s and 60s you go like you know who are not celebrities you'd be like do you know that when this guy was 26 he did this fucking horrible stupid thing or something mm -hmm. you're like Jesus, but you're like, well, you know, that's a long time ago now. I mean, that was kind of, at least, that part of the conversation exists in this, right? Yeah. It's like it's a, it's something really bad. I mean, he's being punished, so that's we're not saying that it's, it definitely has not been excused because he's being punished, but it's also old behavior. Yeah, like that's the Dustin Hoffman thing. You yeah, know, Dustin Hoffman. This is where it gets really strange. A lot of his stuff was 30 years ago. Right. It's like 1985 and shit. It's that, like so. I think part of the difference too between the Hoffman stuff and Louis and maybe everybody else <laughs> is Louis's admission. Right. That's very different because yeah. even like the stuff I heard with Hoffman, he is like, he's definitely trying to justify uh, versions and the behavior and like that's what people did. You know. Is that what he said? Oh yeah. He's like, you know, on the set, like, you try to like get, you know you have to break the tension or there's there's a monotony to it and so people would have these conversations and say so it's it's like he's trying to it appears that he's trying to be less accountable for what he said yeah whereas louis was like these stories are true right so it's i think all the, those things end up affecting how your redemption goes because they're like somebody's like i did this shit i, I was wrong right and i think in this country people love punishment 
Like, are you punished for the thing you did? We hate like somebody getting away with something, right? Mm. So part of him, I think coming back will also be that people realize that he paid a price. Right. I mean, he lost deals, he lost shows, lost right. money. Right. Definitely lost a lot of fucking touring money. I yeah. Mean, it's, that day is a probably at least a $50 million day for him, you know, uh, with everything together. So Isn't that crazy? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, what a weird kink. Jerk off in front of people, yeah. I wonder how you develop it. I mean, I guess I can imagine how you develop it. But. Do you think that you could even do that? Like, I was trying to think, could I even ask, some, hey, do you mind if I jerk off in front of you? And then just get hard and actually, like... Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I imagine he had to be leaking right like before that. Like, to, <laughs> to come that fast, it had to be something he's thinking about, like, all day, you know? <laughs> And like hanging out and then like hey do you want to hang out like do you want to come back or whatever my mm. come up and like so as he's getting closer to doing it i'm sure it's 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 the only fuel that's on his mind you know so it's wow. like wow so like to ask me that i'd be like well that's not my kink so you're like hey could you go from fully flaccid to come in front of these people i'd be like i don't think so man <laughs> i don't think i could do that no kinks are fucking weird man no. kinks are weird you know, like I had a friend and him and his girlfriend used to tie each other up. They tie each other both up, ball gags, yeah. the whole deal. And he loved it. He would talk about it with like great glee. Yeah. And I'd be like, why, why do you like tying each other up? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's fucking great. Like, oh, it's just no. something about like trusting that person to put that rope in their mouth and like. I wonder how much, <laughs> how many of those kinks develop later like you realize it later as opposed to like the the more common theory that it, everything's tied to childhood so that like yeah. you must have been you must have been tied up or something as a kid once and then you somehow relate that to sex but i wonder if if like you can be 28 and be like man this tying thing is fucking awesome i guarantee you can if yeah. you just date one crazy person like if you have one girl who's just a wild animal in the sack yeah. and she just wants to tie you up and you're like all right let's do it yeah and she does it and you love like, it and it's best. amazing yeah and at all.